Hey guys, what's up? This is Matt here on Just For Fun. We're back with more of our tribal series and the next deck today is going to be... I can make my big shiny head smaller. Um, Constructs. Okay, kind of an oddball tribe. Kind of looks almost like an affinity deck or robot stack as you might call it. Um, does play out that way. Um, so the adaptive automaton itself is a construct so that's what gave me this idea let's just check that tribe out right um chief of the foundry happens to be a construct um hypocrisy another one of my favorite cards um memnite bonded construct clearly rune servitor um and everybody's favorite standard buddy hanger backwalker so um if you have uh, what's it called steel overseers those are constructs too and that would make the deck insane um, I would definitely consider playing those um, and uh, more hanger backs if I had them um, I subbed in two vault scourges just to just to have a couple more things to cast on turn one uh, with no actual black mana it's impossible to to pay to for this um, so it's a, it's a you know one mana spell in this deck it also happens to go really well with cranial plating as you know from affinity um, and uh, you know obviously mondo combo um, apocrysite mondo combo with aether vial as are you know all the tribal decks I've done we've been doing aether vial and um, muta vaults you know trying to fit those all in did not go for the collected company route with this deck although you could you could also go bigger with it i'm pretty sure there are more if you go more constructs if you go up the mana curve but um i've been trying to keep all these tribal decks as three mana dudes or less um because that's how i like to play it lets you play fewer lands like 19 lands and you know keeps your deck pretty threat dense Technically, this deck has 25 creatures, but with the four Muta Vaults and four and soul artifacts, really, it's more than that. Um, so, what else is going on here? So, we got Memnite, Bonded Construct, Vault Scourge, as all early creatures, Muta Vault. So, Muta Vault and Memnite both do a really good job of letting you attack on turn two with Bonded Construct, making it a lot better. Bonded Construct also blocks up if you need to be blocking, so it's kind of a nice. Uh, thing that way, you know, and its drawback is a drawback. Um, by the way, Aether Vial, you can Aether Vial in Memnite at zero, something to remember. Those come up if you want to get around counter spells. Um, cranial Plating is just a way to make any one of these dorks into a huge threat. Um, so you can go big or you can go wide, which makes the deck good. The um, Automaton and Chief giving you eight lords in the deck is pretty nice. Um, Hawkersite, obviously good with Vile, I mentioned that, and Soul is why we're playing Dark Steel Citadel. Also, it's pretty good with Vault Scourge and Memnite, um, or Aether, I've suited up an Aether Vial, <laughs> as it were. Um, Academy Ruins and Buried Ruin as some ways to get back threats. Um, Tomb, was, I put in there as a way to beat a burn deck, but uh, it never came up in the matches. Uh, but hey, you know, it doesn't, it's, there's like no deck building costs there's no opportunity cost to playing some more colorless lands we got several islands really just for in soul and thought cast as a way to draw into more threats um hanger back is just good at any point in the game like i said if i had more i'd play more it's both good and bad with either vial it's bad because um you can only vial this in for zero if you vial it in for zero when you have chief or automaton in play it stays alive right so um you can keep it alive that way and then start getting counters but yeah again how much value does it really have if it doesn't have any counters on it not as much but you know it is something you could potentially do violet in for zero at the end of the turn with a, a lord in play and it's a bit of a risky play but it's something you could do however the the good way it works with either vial is that if you're using your vials put your other creatures in play it frees up your mana so you usually have a mana laying around to activate this every turn um so that's something else to keep
keep in mind. Um, anyway, it's a great deck. It has a lot of potential. Um, it's really fun to play. Like all these tribal decks are, have been really fun to play. You've probably heard me say that a few times now, and it's not any less true than the first time I said it. Um, you know, some cards I would consider if I were building a sideboard would be disruption, um, mainly in counter spells uh, like spell pierce uh, would be a good one in this deck. Um, I would also consider playing some things that bounce, like. Um, Void Snare or uh, Echoing Truth just to get rid of problem cards like, um, you know, Stony Silence and stuff like that, uh, Ensnaring Bridge, what have you, uh, in order to give you a chance to attack and kill your opponent. Um, I enjoyed making this set. I hope you enjoy watching, and peace.